Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the first elementary grade. Our textbook is We Can One, and today, inshallah, we will cover Unit 2 Days and Weather Evaluation, where we're going to review the whole unit. And it will be presented by me, Teacher Mazen Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al Agil. So let's begin. The first lesson we had in this unit called the talk time that can be seen on pages 10 and 11 and our objectives in this lesson were first to act out the what day do you like with a partner and also to say days of the week so let's me and you try to get to know about this lesson the first thing we had with this lesson is that we did listen to a conversation between two girls and these girls were asking about uh, each other about what is the day that they like for example this girl asked her friend what day do you like what day do you like and we said that when we use this question we usually use it to know what is the person or the other person uh, favorite day so also we have here a list of seven days different seven days and we said that you can have similar table to it and then you can put a, a check mark on your favorite day so her friend says that i like wednesday i like wednesday how about you and she said i like saturday and also we said that if you want to use or if you want to say what is your favorite day you always start with I like for example I like Friday I like Wednesday I like Monday so we are using uh, I like whenever we have or whenever we talk about uh, any day so how we can ask someone about his or her favorite day it's always the same question we say what day do you like and how we can answer with such question we uh, can answer such questions with i like and then you name the day so after this after we did uh, listen to the conversation we said that it is important that you can practice this conversation with a partner maybe your classmate or someone from your classrooms or a family member someone at your home so just ask him or ask her this question what day do you like and then he or she would say well i like saturday or sunday or monday or any day that they like and after this we did in this lesson we did listen to a game or we learn how to play a game that is called the hot potato game so it says here that we need to say these sentences and pass the potato so we said in this lesson imagine that you have a small potato or small ball and you gather around and uh, make a circle and each one of them uh, who has the potato will ask one question which is what day do you like and the person will ask the person next to him or next to her what day do you like and she will take the potato and said well i like tuesday and look for the other person and say how about you and the uh, the game continues so it is interesting game because it will help you use this question what day do you like and also it will help you learn what to say and how to express the day you like like for example i like tuesday i like sunday and the game continues and after this we had the lesson of rhythms and sounds on pages 12 and 13 and our objectives with this lesson were number one to chant the days of the week chant 
and also to say the days of the week from Sunday to Saturday with good pronunciation. So let's remind ourselves with this chant. Let's listen to it one more time so we can learn and remind ourselves of the days of the week. So here we have the chant that is called Days of the Week. Let's listen. Days of the Week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday comes again. So here in this chant, we did say the whole seven uh, days of the week. Not only this, but when we reach or when we started again, we said Sunday comes again. It means that we start from the beginning of the week. And after we did listen to the chant, we had another exercise where we said that have a look at the picture in front of you in your book and see this calendar. You will see calendar with different days that start from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we will have similar calendar to the one you have on your books and we said that you can say your plans for each of these days. For example, we said that if you want to go to school on Sunday, then here you need to put a check mark like this. If you want to go uh, to our uh, shopping, for example, on one of these days, then you can, for example, put a check mark here on Tuesday. And uh, of course, on uh, Friday, you, you want to go to the prayer. Then you put a check mark like this. So we said this is the importance of calendar as it helps us to plan and make plans and see what we're going to do with each of these days. And after this, we had the last thing we did with rhythms and sound. We had something interesting that is called uh, chant and do where we did chant all the days of the week and not only this but also we make the shapes of the first letter of each of these days for example here we have the first word or the first day which is sunday and sunday starts with the letter s so what we did we said that we can make the shape of letter s Maybe like this, or maybe with one hand like this. Also, the, the following day, which is Monday. And we said that we can make the shape of uh, the first letter of the word Monday, which is letter M. We said we can make the shape like this, or we can make it by one hand. And the following day is Tuesday. And we said we can make the shape of Tuesday Either we uh, use our hand like this, or we make it the shape with one hand. And after this, we have Wednesday. And we said we can make the shape of Wednesday, or the first letter, which is letter W, or we can use only one hand to make the shape of letter W. And after this, we had also Thursday. And after this, we had uh, Friday where we said that you can use your body and two arms to make the shape of letter F, or you can just draw it with your hand. And after this, we have, or we did, uh, uh, said how we can make the letter shape of letter S from the word Saturday. As we said, we can make a gesture like this, or we can draw with one hand. We said that these, uh, these actions or this chant is important as it helps us to not only memorize the letters, but also we memorize the days and never forget them. So after this, we had another or our third lesson with this unit, which is called words on pages 14 and 15. And our uh, objective with this lesson was 
to say at least three sentences about weather. So what we did here, we did answer one question with this lesson, which is, what's the weather like today? And we got to know uh, uh, five different weather or five different types of weather in this lesson. The first one, to answer this question, what's the weather like today? The first answer we have is, it's sunny today. It's sunny today, as we can see the sun. And the second one is, it's cloudy today. It's cloudy today, when we can't see the sun and see only clouds. And the third one, it's rainy today. It's rainy today, where we see the rain fall from the sky. And number four, it's snowy today. It's snowy today where we can see the snow fall also from the sky. And number five, it's windy today. It's windy today, where there are a lot of uh, winds uh, comes in the air. So here we have these uh, different uh, five types of weather. Let's listen to them one more time and say them after me. So. The first type of weather is sunny, say after me, sunny, snowy, snowy, cloudy, cloudy, rainy, rainy, windy, windy. Very good. So here you go. These are the five types of weather that we learned from the words lesson. And after this, we had listened to a chant that is called the weather chant. Now let's listen one more time to this chant to remind ourself, uh, ourselves with it. It's sunny today. It's sunny today. The sun is showing its face. It's cloudy today. It's cloudy today. The sun is hiding its face. It's rainy today. It's rainy today. The sun is washing its face. So this is uh, what uh, this was the weather chant, and we said that not only we can chant it, but also we can act it out. We can act out how the sun is showing its face, or how the sun is hiding its face, or how the sun is washing its face. So we can know what's the weather like for each of these actions. And after this, we had the phonics lesson on pages 16 and 17, where our objectives to recognize and produce these sounds of the English alphabet and recognize sounds and letters correctly and copy the letters and sound and write the uppercase letters correctly. So in this lesson, we did focus on four important letters. And these letters were letter W, letter X, letter Y, and letter Z. And we said that it's not only important that we can make the sound of these letters, but also we can memorize words with these letters. So here, let's listen to the first word that, uh, with this uh, letter. So the first word with letter W, which is the word uh, wolf. Wolf, say after me, wolf. And we have fox. Fox, zebra, zebra, yard, yard. So these were the four important words that have the sounds that we did the practice on, which is the letter W, X, Y, and Z. 
And not only this, not only making the sound of these letters or memorizing these letters, but we said that it is important that we can trace and copy these letters. And what we did in this lesson, we did trace each of these letters. We did trace it three to five times, and then we did copy it on our own. So we started with letter W and letter X, where we trace letter X, and we write it at the end, and also with letter Y, where we trace letter Y, and we write it, and also, finally, we did the trace, copy, write letter Z. And after this, we had another exercise where we have four different words, and we said that we need to listen to each word and decide what is the letter that we should fill in this word with. And the answers were, with number one, the word was wolf, and the second one, the word was fox, and with the third one, the word was yard, and with the fourth one, the word is zebra. And we finish the unit by learning how to count from 10 to 20. So, let's me and you try to count again the a number from 10 to 100. So, the first number we have here is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So this is all what we did learn in this unit. So now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.